Do you want to know how I made this mountain snowy base? Watch the video and find out. What I begin first with the miniature is checking where I'd like him positioned on the base, whether I want him more central, more to the back, to the front. Once I'm happy with the location, I start tearing up some cork tiles, which I picked up from Wilco's, and just layering them on the miniature. Once I'm happy with the way they're all sitting, I glue them all down with some super glue. Once you're happy with the way the miniature is sitting, I gave the whole base a coat of typhus corrosion just to add a bit more texture. In fairness, you probably don't have to do this step, but I did it just to try and cover up some of the seams. But as I was going, I did notice there was a few flat areas I weren't happy with, so I just got in with the tweezers and ripped a bit more off. And then also added a few more smaller pieces onto the top just to try and give it a bit more natural look and not so flat. Once I was happy with the way these two top pieces were looking, I coated them again. Now the general base idea is down, I started adding some mushrooms which I picked up by Infernal Prints on eBay. They're a great scale mushroom for this sort of project. So I scattered a few around and just super glued them in place. Once you're happy with how many mushrooms you've placed around, give them a black prime and let that dry. Now for the dry brushing, we're going to start off with Uniform Grey by Army Painter, which my tube's jammed, so I've got to square out from the main bowl. Next, give it a dry brush of Gorgon Hide, which gives you a bit more of a blue sort of tint to the stone to make it feel cold. Finally, give it a dry brush of matte white just at the very highlight areas and that'll be the dry brushing done. Next, we're going to go in and paint all the mushrooms, whatever colours you like. So just go through it all, pick out the tops of the mushrooms and also the stems. Once the base coating is done, go back and hit each of the mushroom caps, just the tops, with a highlight. Once all the highlights are done, it's then time to glue your main miniature into place on the base so we can blend it in with the next effect so it don't look like he's just stuck on top. Now it's time to make the snow for the base. First of all, take some Woodland Scenics Soft Flake Snow and pour it into a container. I'm just using a plastic shot glass here. And then next of all, you're gonna need some PVA glue and then just pour in a small amount. Once 
once it's all mixed, begin adding it to the miniature. Try not to push it down too flat, as it won't look like snow. Just sort of place it on and just press it around until you get the desired sort of look you're after. Now with the base fully covered and you're happy with the way it all looks, next I get a paintbrush and start just adding a few bits to the miniature just to tie him into the base just so he don't look like he's just stuck there, he looks like he actually belongs in the scene. Just by adding a few flecks of snow here and there where it would gather, it really ties him into the base. Once you've finished applying the snow, the final step is to just give the base rim a nice coat of black just to lean it all up. And with that, the project is complete. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel because I will be putting more content like this out. Thanks for watching.